we're back like clockwork. Seven o'clock, it's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Welcome friends, family, everyone to my kitchen. It's time for another great recipe. I think you're gonna like this one a whole lot, but before I get into all of that, hey Deidre, <laughs> let me wave at some folks. Yay, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> it's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. That's right, we do it every Friday here at seven o'clock on Facebook at Carla Renee. That's Carla with a C, the right way. R-E-N-E-A, okay? You can also catch me on YouTube. Hey, Maurice. Our YouTube channel is Sugar Pearls, that's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S, and Instagram, which is Sugar Pearls underscore online. I'm excited! Okay, so tonight's recipe, I, it, it's not a vegetarian or vegan it does use vegetables and it uses a fungus there's a fungus among us and tonight we're using it in our meal now this is not a healthy meal if you have an air fryer i suggest you use the air fryer to do that thank you deidre you know it's actually growing on me i'm trying to get it even lighter like almost like silver light so it, it it's levels to it so i'm i'm working with it but thank you <laughs> yes so let's get started tonight okay so there's a fungus among us and tonight we are going to be eating my taki mushroom. Mm -hmm. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It's um, it's my taki, or y'all can still come on in. Come on in. I'm just explaining um what what tonight's recipe is, and it is shroom. Look at that. Now this maitake is also called um, hen of the wood. Hen of the wood. Okay, and it literally comes from the base of dead trees. I know, but it's so good and so delicious. But because it comes from the base of a dead tree, it's super clean. So... Uh, and the great thing about this particular fungus, maitake, is that when you cook it, like I'm, I'm going to fry it tonight. I'm actually going to deep fry it, which is not good for me, but I'm going to try to drain as much oil off of it as I possibly can until I can get an air fryer. If you've got an air fryer, then you're going to do this recipe. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. And we're gonna fry this and have it like a like a chicken sandwich okay are you ready I'm ready let's go okay so I've got the maitake I've also got some oyster mushroom and the oyster mushroom see how it curls up y'all the these are the mushrooms that I love portobello I love portobello too but this, look, look at look at those fins. Oh my gosh. And honey, when we batter that and fry it and put it on our sandwich, it's going to taste like a chicken sandwich. You're going to love it. I promise you. Once again, disclaimer, if you've got an air fryer for this recipe, go ahead and use that. Okay, I... I I'm just doing it the old-fashioned way tonight. I got a, a hot wok with, now in my wok, now I season my oil. I don't know about y'all, when y'all frying chicken and stuff, um, season your oil. Oh, goodness. The, the flavors that go through your meats when you season your oil, phenomenal. 
okay and in my oil i've got some see all that stuff floating around in there that is oregano that um i've got some chili flakes in there i'm going to drop a couple of cloves of garlic in it and really kick it up a notch yes yeah ah, hello everybody y'all thank you thank you so much Hi, Christopher Chadwick G. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Y'all ain't got nothing better to do on a Friday night. Yes. Tish, welcome home, baby. Tish, I have been loving just going through your Instagram and your Facebook pages, honey, looking at all those beautiful pictures as Tish takes Thailand. Y'all, my little cousin is a world traveler. Like, I gotta step my game up. Yeah, really. Like, you gotta teach me your secrets. For real. Ugh. Okay, so while this wok is getting hot with the oil, hey, cousin Larry, I'm gonna really heat that up. Now, I've got some, a little bit of flour. I didn't want a whole lot of flour, but I got a little bit of flour, some cornstarch. I've got some garlic powder, some oregano, and some steak seasoning, which already has like salt and stuff in it, so I'm not adding any more salt. This is my seasoning, all right? This is it, boo. All right, so let's go ahead and ooh, mix this baby up. Before I do that, I, I think I'm gonna put my apron on so I don't get flour in it in my dress okay so you've got all of your seasonings incorporated really really nicely in your flour mixture okay oh sugar from studio kitchen live everybody yeah just like the apron says ah! <laughs> food that loves you back honey another good old recipe if you are still going meatless, this might be a good little recipe for you to try. It's not a vegetarian nor vegan meal because I'm going to use some bread. I'm going to use some other things that are not on a vegetarian's diet per se, but uh, they going in here. All up and through here. Yes. Okay. So I've got my flour mixed up and now i want to scramble a couple of eggs we're gonna do we're gonna be dipping and doing it and i've got some panko breadcrumbs because i want this really really crispy okay oh it's gonna be so good y'all been having a good week hey renee hey mika mika <laughs> hi angela all right so for those of you just coming on tonight for our recipe there is a fungus among us we are cooking maitake and oyster mushrooms turning it into a chicken sandwich uh, chicken not chicken <laughs> i got my eggs here i'm just gonna scramble them up Add a little bit of warm water to it just to loosen it up. This thing is going to be so flavorful and crispy. You might not want meat anymore. Okay. Sorry. Nah, I don't know. I mean, every I, I don't eat a whole lot of meat. Maybe once or twice a week. Um, everything else is like salads and veggies sauteed or grilled or whatever and I got my little handy dandy grill out too we're gonna grill some vegetables which I think I need to put on now so my vegetables tonight I've got asparagus and carrots so because the asparagus does not take that long to cook we're gonna put that on the grill last I got a couple of all I did was to y'all the carrots were a, just a bag of carrots. The, the regular old carrots, I peeled them, 
slice them up kind of like so it'll have one flat side um the bag was 76 cents yes and i love a good old carrot mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. okay remember my oil that i seasoned up If you want to know what I put in my oil, you can look at the recipe from last week. Super easy, super flavorful. I'm not even going to put salt on these carrots. I want the natural sweetness of the carrots to come out when I put them on the grill. Okay? Mm, front. Turn it all the way up. I'll show you what I'm doing in just a second. Hold on. Just trust me. Mm. All those are good. And here, I'm gonna do one more. Cause I, I gotta be able to fit my asparagus on there later. Okay. All right now. I hope you guys have been having a phenomenal week. I certainly have. Mm. <laughs> I'm snacky. That's one thing about me. I don't eat a lot of snacks and stuff. I don't even buy snack food. Candy, chips, stuff like that for the house. Fruits and vegetables. Fresh whole fruits and vegetables, that's all. I know you can't tell by looking at me, child, but I do eat right. Mm-hmm. All right, now, let me show you what's going on. So you don't think I'm hiding nothing from you. Mm-mm. Woo! -mm. <laughs> my big face. Okay. That's the oil that I seasoned. It's getting nice and hot. And my cut up. Okay. Now I'm going to take um, a pot and put on top that. Sit something heavy because I really want to press those carrots down in there and uh, kind of get some grill marks on it, you know? Let's see. Let's, let's see if I can make that happen. And just like that, like, like that, okay? Just another pot inside of it with something really heavy. In my case, I have a nice, heavy, uh -oh, excuse me, canister of rice. Hi, Sister Cheryl. Hi, Tiffany. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Rochella. Ooh, Ashley. Speaking of Ashley. I'm not going to make the opening tomorrow for less ride. So, my cousin Maddie, Isaac, yes. Maddie um, just opened a cycling studio in Bishopville. In the, um, y'all know where the Food Lion com, uh, shopping center is. Right there, a cycling studio. And I do believe, if memory serves me correctly, that the one of the openings one because i think she's having another one in march but if you are in the county all right i suggest you try a little something new go cycling at uh let's ride right there yes they are right is is it ashley yes yeah go check her out it's gonna be awesome I'm going out of town, so I won't be able to make it tomorrow, but I'm I'm hoping to make the March opening. Alright, so, if you're just tuned in, <laughs> we are cooking a Hen of the Wood Mushroom Burger. Uh -huh. There's no meat in this but by the time we cook this it's gonna taste a little bit like chicken because we're gonna bread it up and fry it and never do everything that we're supposed to do with it pretty much 
and, and put it on a bun and eat it just like a chicken sandwich. Yes. So I've got my flour seasoned. Flour, cornstarch, some garlic powder and other spices in there. And I've also got some nice oyster mushrooms. I might need to turn this down. Shit. All right. Let's smash up a piece of garlic to go inside my oil. Very good. Look at that. Easy peasy. That's it. Okay. Just like that, baby. Ooh. I know I ain't supposed to be eating this deep fried stuff. Like I said, now, if you have an air fryer to do this recipe, I suggest you use the air fryer. It's better for you. You'll feel less guilty. Oh. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, the garlic that comes up out of that is so luscious. And this oil can be used for something else another time. Um, now that it's got a nice aroma going throughout it. All right. Kind of like the oil we made last week. All right, are we ready? Uh, let me look at the carrots. That mushroom takes no time to cook, so. I got a little grill mark going there on one of my carrots. I'm sorry for all the tilting and everything, y'all. <laughs> all right, so I just flipped the carrots and now I'm gonna let it sear on the other side because I want to keep them kind of crispy. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Donna. Hey, Tori. <laughs> hey, Doris. Hey. I'm not gonna miss seeing you this time. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much. I love you guys. Mm. Okay. So while my oil is working, I don't want that to burn. I'm going to slice up a little bit of onion to go on my burger and get my bun ready. Well, let me, let me clean up this mushroom first. Now, um, a hen of the wood mushroom, oyster mushroom, you are not going to wash. You can wipe them off, but do not wash them because you will destroy the flavor and the texture. And you don't want that. Okay, so what I'm doing is taking some of the slightly more dense pieces off. Because um, I don't want it tasting woody. So I just I just took a couple of them. I, mean, I might as well just cut the rest of them, Chad. Let me go ahead and clean that up right there. There we go. Might as well. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I love a good old red onion on my salmon. Can't wait for that. Okay, 
We are getting closer and closer to eating this masterpiece. I'm just gonna kinda thinly slice some onion. Not worried about doing rings so much, but I just want that. I should saute these onions. Should I? Yes, I should. Okay. All right. So first thing we're gonna do um, with our hen of the wood mushroom. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Crystal. We've got our egg wash. We've got our mushroom. And we're just gonna just kind of roll it on around and then there you go okay you can see now all right all right <laughs> I love making kitchen mess put that in my flour <laughs> can't be afraid to touch your food boo how you gonna eat? You must be one with the food. Touch, feel, taste as you go. If you gotta cook, they're saying, I don't like the way that feel, then don't eat they cooking. Because they they don't they don't know what they're doing. Alright, you gotta be able to have a cook that don't mind getting a little messy. So I've got my maitake and my oyster mushrooms in my flour and I'm just going to, the flour is already seasoned. I need not add any more. Ooh wee, baby, baby, get that on in there. Like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not done, no, I'm not done. Get my panko breadcrumbs going here. I just bought a plain panko. Don't no seasoning. Just plain old panko breadcrumbs. Put some in my There we go. All right. Remember that right there? Going to dredge it one more time. Instead, now I'm just going to pour the rest of my egg onto the mixture like that. And just make a big old mess. And mix, mix, mix. Mix it on in, baby. All right. Roll it in my panko. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is going to be so good. Oh Lord. I'm excited. I'm, I'm just excited. For what God is about to do in this building. All right, let me wash that off. Mm -hmm. Voila. Your chicken, no chicken, fungus among us, mushroom burger. All right. Going to fry that up in just a hot second. Right now. I'm going to check on my carrots, okay? Now, I'm going to be quiet while the carrots are going because I noticed that when I talk, there's a lot of popping in and out of the audio when I go back to edit it in post. So,
the carrots are absolutely lovely. Let me show you. Lovely. Okay. And now that they're done, I can put my asparagus on because the asparagus ain't going to take no time. Okay, so I'm not going to do a whole lot. And all I did, now um, remember I've been showing you different ways, little hacks, tips, and tricks for the kitchen. Skeeter, you still try. <laughs> Skeeter, don't even try it. You're a great cook. Um, if you buy asparagus or parsley or cilantro, cut the stems off. With my asparagus, I usually go about an inch, depending on the, the tenderness. Because sometimes if, if it's not so tender, then you got to cut farther up on it to get to the tender part. These were pretty good. So I just cut about a, a little under an inch, stuck them back in some water, and they stay nice and fresh okay so that's a hack for you for free that you can do with asparagus cilantro and other things flat leaf parsley i'm gonna take that off for a second because i think there we go all right turn turn you up baby now some people don't care for asparagus and i get it um it's got a a weird undertaste uh, I happen to love it so all I'm gonna do is really just put just a little bit of um, salt cracked pepper that's it I'm not gonna overdo it hey Monique hey Val <laughs> who else is that hi Patrick okay so the asparagus is there uh, little Himalayan pink salt and a little bit of cracked pepper yeah right, i'm gonna put that right there i'm still here i'm just um i'm setting the, the cook stuff aside and i want to do the same thing with that asparagus i want it kind of charred a little bit okay so I think now we're ready to go ahead and do our maitake and oyster mushroom in our seasoned hot oil front I need to make sure it's hot hot okay because what you don't want is for it to be sitting soaking up a whole lot of grease okay so we are gonna like flash fries kind of look at that mushroom when you make this for yourself i promise you're gonna thank me later you are yes of course you're gonna do it in your air fryer not like i did do as i say remember um yes honey you gonna, you gonna thank me i think i'm ready all right Ooh. It's done now. Ain't nothing else I can do about it. They look like little chicken thighs frying away in there. They are so cute. Oh my gosh. I need a camera operator so you can, they can like follow me around and I can show you. Look at that goodness. And it's going to brown up and everything right nice. While that's going. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> the asparagus looks lovely. Do I put anything besides salt and pepper on my asparagus? Um, sometimes, but not usually. I don't like to really over season it. Now, if you want, what you could do, and I, I was gonna do this for tonight, but I was like, nah, back off some of the seasonings. 
but you can drizzle a little bit of teriyaki sauce on it if you want to. I just might hit it with a little teriyaki. Let's hit it with a little, little yaki. Mm, mm. Hang on. I am with you. I'll saute some onions and I have a little bit raw. on there, honey. Good call, Carla. Good call. Somebody help her. Help her. Don't overcook your asparagus. Uh, I got, I don't know how many minutes that was on one side. Four minutes. Lift that. Lift that. Um, I put a little bit of water in my onion that was it kind of fried out put a little water in it cover it just to kind of let it steam a little bit and that's it and that's done now we're going to take these um, mushroom parts out Drain as much oil off as I possibly can. I know, I know. Boom! All right. Okay, I am. I'm gonna. I got a lot going on in here, man. bun on here too why not why not I say there we go all right 
turn it back on. I'm going to hit it. With a little bit of spread, butter spread. Oh, did I say this was a vegetarian meal? <laughs> no, I didn't. Because it's not. Because we violating every vegetarian rule up in here tonight. I got butter bread. Oh, yes. Yes, baby. I hear you talking, though. All right. Let me show you my little mushrooms. Look at that. That's mushroom, y'all. When we put it on the Sammy, you ain't gonna know you ain't eating chicken. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good, too. I, I seasoned that perfectly. Let me just say that for myself. Okay? Hi, Dan. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Felicia. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Oh, thank y'all. Now, if you're just coming on, you're late. Yes. But let me tell you what we're cooking. We are cooking... Uh... No meat, no chicken, chicken sandwich, sort of. We're using maitake mushroom and oyster mushroom. The maitake is also called hen of the wood. Um, it comes from the base of like dead oak trees and stuff like that, but it's so doggone good. And I seasoned it with some um, garlic powder and stuff inside my little flour mixture, egg mixture, panko breadcrumbs. Just go back and watch the show. Okay, F yeah, what, what? Ooh, yes. Just go and watch the show. Ooh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna try to get some more grill marks on that other bread. Thank you, Sheila. Aw, that is so sweet. You do need to make this Deidre, I'm telling you. But use an air fryer. Don't be hard-headed like I was and, and using all that grease. It's not good for you. Mm-hmm. But we gonna eat it anyhow. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Mm. My blood look a little crazy. Do I want tomatoes? I want a little piece of a tomato. That's a just a small piece. I'm not crazy about. raw tomatoes necessarily but I will indulge and we're gonna do a little piece of avocado all right avocado I, I'll use my short one to show you. you 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 know how to do this right all right so you got your avocado and And you're just going to take your little paring knife around and around, twist, got your little seed on the inside. I'm, I'm going to show you how to take it out. Just chop it down there, twist, okay, twist, <laughs> and then pop it out, okay? I'm going to leave that back in there though because I want to save. I'm not going to use all this avocado. But for the um, pieces, oh yeah. Oh yeah, honey. That are going on my um, sandwich. So um, just, you can make little wedges leave it in the skin that way you can it can protect itself inside the skin okay so we got that i'm gonna do a few more pieces of avocado and then i'm gonna plate for you okay and see all you did was just kind of scoot out one little side and we're gonna leave the other side intact all right well Let's get, let's get ready. I got some good old lettuce here. I already washed and 
cleaned up. Mm -hmm. oh. This is a meal that um, almost makes you think you're doing something. Like, it's not super healthy, but you can try to... Um, Eliminate some of the fat by by doing like I see All right, so our spicy mayo is gonna go here and there just a little drizzle and Take a couple pieces of my mushroom Y'all <laughs> Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. She did. I got my caramelized onions in there. This I'm gonna enjoy this so much. I think I'm gonna have to make another one tomorrow so I can take a picture. A uh, little lettuce, little lettuce, there we go. Lettuce, stay with me, work with me. There we go, boom. Okay, couple of pieces of tomato and, um, ooh. Remember my uh, carrots, my asparagus, my avocado? Yeah, all of it. So one piece, I'm not crazy about avocado, believe it or not, but I like it on the sandwich. Look at that. I know, it's not chicken. It's mushroom, yeah. Okay, let me sit there. Sit that down for a second. Because I feel like I need to uh, strike up the old camera or something. You know, you're always reminding me to don't forget to take a picture. So I hope that this comes out clear enough. I like nice, close up, crisp, sharp pictures from of my food. This old phone really doesn't cut it, but, um, we gonna see, honey. Can I get it on first? Okay. Hi, Donetta. Hi, Ray. Hi, Melvin. Hi, Kiona. Hey, LaDidra. <laughs> Hi, Leon. Josephine. Oh, my gosh, my peeps. My peeps are checking in. I'm sweating. I got a little perspiration going on. Come on, phone. It's, it's coming. Lord. All right. While that's getting tuned up, I'm going to move some of this stuff aside. Wipe my up uh, my stove top down. Where I got grease and food and you no, know we can't have that, honey. Are you gonna try this? Yes, I'm telling you, it's so good. Yes. Okay, I got it on. Ooh, love. Um, I know I'm just trying to figure out like where to put stuff. Ouch. All right, bear with me, folks. I am here. I am here. Okay. So I got my little burger going. 
all my junk. Let me scoot those out the way. Yes, I love onion. Love it, love it. On my seeded bun, we're going we gonna to see how this is going to happen. Let's, let's find out. Let's just, let's just find out. <laughs> Yo, why do I feel like a mad scientist or something? Because I am. Because I am. Hmm. So instead of fries, you've got these sweet, lovely, crunchy carrots. Someone asked me the other day, where did I learn to plate? And honestly, I learned to plate by watching great chefs do it. Honestly. I watch a lot of um, network shows, a lot of... Um, Cooking magazines, Epicurious, things like that. Oh, hang on. Now, it ain't the cutest, but honey, this show is edible. I know, I just, I did this. Me, little old me. Hey. <laughs> Melvin said it was my glow. <laughs> Thank you, Melvin. <laughs> Let me take a picture of this mess before it just completely falls apart. Yes. Okay. Let's go to... Oh, this thing. It wants me to eat it. Instead of playing with it. So I got camera. Oh Lord, chaff. The stuff is falling out. That's all right. We're going to stick it in the bag. <laughs> stick it right on back there. Okay. A little sauce. Hit it with the sauce. Hit it with the sauce. And picture time. I'm here. I'm just taking pictures, Chad. Just taking pictures. Look at this. Monster burger. Monster burger. Okay, that wasn't a good angle. Let me try to get it from this angle right here. Y'all bear with me now. This is all for the for the cookbook. Okay. She said, stop playing with me and just go and eat. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Cause I'm hungry. Next time I won't make it so doggone high and it will um it won't fall apart. Okay, here I go. This is my chicken no chicken burger. Hen of the wood mushroom, sauteed onions, asparagus, tomatoes, um lettuce. Look at that. Our special sauce underneath there. Mm. I don't know what side to bite from. I don't know if you could hear the crunch. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Mm. Mm. When I open my restaurant, I need for y'all to support it just like y'all support my show. <laughs> Cause honey, look, treat, I can do it, Trina, for real. Mmm. Mmm. That asparagus is perfect. A little bit of pink salt, some crab pepper, and a, like a of a teriyaki. Just a little bit. Don't overdo it with the yaki. Hmm. No, I'm not. But I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget I actually have an audience too. <laughs> so Dan's beautiful wife, my sister Ladidra, asked me if I was doing a live cooking class at homecoming. Not this year, but I'm actually meeting up with some of the folks and we're going to talk about that for next year so i'm excited honey the things that are happening that are unfolding for sugar pearl studio kitchen live and you know what all i had to do was stay consistent stay motivated stay on my grind I go to bed, think about recipes. I wake up sometimes two o'clock in the morning, like I did this week, <laughs> thinking about plating food, and ah, uh, it's it's a blessing. It really, it is truly a blessing to be able to do something that I love. I love cooking. I love eating too, but cooking brings me joy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. 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 I know. Mmm. 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 Did that make you hungry? Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You gotta do this. So rewatch the show so you can see from start to finish how we seasoned up the flour. We didn't season the mushroom, we seasoned the flour. And that whole mixture. Panko breadcrumbs and stuff in there. So you don't have to. That, that's overdoing it. And we didn't do that. Mmm. 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 I got some cheese somewhere. Hold on. Let me tell you. After them. Um, three bites. I'm about full. Look at that. Mmm. I have no problem eating food in front of people. Mm-hmm. Food dripping all down my mouth and everything. Love it. <laughs> Cheryl. There is no better friend like a sister from my big sister. I got some um, ginger and turmeric tea with some lime in here. Mm. You can't tell me I ain't, I ain't doing something healthy, child. Well, almost. And we 
did it in under an hour. This meal, for those mushrooms, they were, because they are, they are kind of exotic. Okay, so it was like $3 a pack. Okay, if you don't want to spend that for mushrooms, then, you know, yeah. But, um, and one of them I got a dollar off with my coupon. So, that, the bread was $3.00. Some vegetables. I told you the, the bag of carrots I bought was 76 cents. The asparagus was a dollar fifty nine. Mm. Where's my accountant? Somebody add that up. All I know is it is good to my soul. Y'all, you know what else is good to my soul? You being with me here on Friday nights for Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again. I hope that the recipes I create, and I really hope that this one that I did tonight inspires you to not just live to eat, but eat and live, like truly savor foods and different flavors that are out there explore try something different i'm telling you if your taste buds need an upgrade keep watching the show baby because every now and then i'm gonna hit you with a little something mm -hmm. yes so thank you remember you can watch the show on my website you can go to the menu bar and at the top there is a watch category. Click that and you can watch all the videos that I've done. This is number 23 now. Thank you. Mm -hmm, 23. I know. My website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And Instagram is Sugar Pearls. That's S U G A R. P-E-A-R-L-S online, no, underscore online. Sugar Pearls underscore online. Check me out. I hope that I'll get to cook for you real soon. Until then, know that I love you. And I hope you love me back.